you just need a little bit of steady hands and you know maybe a little bit of confidence doing it hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a requested video I know. Let's give a shout out to Mr. Kareem. Thank you so much, Kareem, that you have requested for me to do this video. And congratulations for your wedding too. He actually said it twice. He's a subscriber of mine and thank you so much for the support. Actually, thank you all of you guys for so much support you guys are showing already. Let me just tell you even before we start the video, I am not a beautician. I'm not an expert. I'm not a makeup artist. I've not done this a lot of time. I am fairly new to this world. I don't like playing with makeup because it makes me feel like art. But other than that, I'm no expert. But yes, I did do my own wedding and engagement makeup look. I had so much fun. Literally, I really enjoy doing it myself. You don't have to spend so much money if you know and if you have some basic products. You can do it yourself and it's not a hard thing. You just need a little bit of steady hands and, you know, maybe a little bit of confidence doing it. I'm just saying, okay. If you want to see how I was looking at my wedding, please go ahead and follow me on social medias like Instagram and Facebook. I do have some of the photos up there and some more coming soon. If you guys have more ideas or more suggestions or something you want me to do, please let me know in the comments below. I would be very grateful to do something like this. We interacting is going to make a lot of difference. I'm not going to speak any more further. But yes, I have to tell you one more thing. Please hit the subscribe button do not forget that and also hit the bell notification don't miss on that because the next time i post a video you should not miss it out without further ado let's get right into the video the first thing i'm going to do is apply eyes on my face what that does is it will tighten your pores and make sure that your makeup glides in very smoothly i would totally recommend if you are trying to wear uh, makeup for a long period of time or wanting to look spot on so I'm going to take a nice cube of ice, hold the eyes with a cloth as a barrier because otherwise it's going to sting on your fingertips. I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my face and make sure I concentrate mostly on the cheek area or my nose and the forehead where I mostly have larger pores so that it tightens the pore and makes it look more younger. So once you're done applying ice on your face, use a fresh clean cloth to wipe off the excess water on your face. Dab the cloth around, do not rub your face. This way it will only take out the water and it will keep your face still cold and supple. Now that I've applied ice on my face, it feels really, really, really cold. But this is good because it does tighten your pores and also it regulates blood flow which in turn will give you a glowing effect. We are going to moisturize. You can use any moisturizer you have. Make sure you are moisturizing your face with ample moisturizer which suits your skin. To make some changes, we are going to do the eyes first and not the face. The reason we are doing that is because when, especially when you're getting married or the center of attraction, we do not really want to mess out the cheek area because of any fallouts and then wipe it off and start all over again so we will do the eyes first it look very awkward to begin with but when we put everything together it look better i'm also going to use vaseline on my lips so that my lips are nice and plump by the end of the whole video now that i have vaseline on my lips and moisturizer on my face let's go ahead and do our eyes first and then we will continue with the whole face the first thing i'll do is take this shade maybelline instant age rewind eraser this is the shade which is very close to my natural skin color and it looks really pretty so i'm going to go ahead and apply this all around my eyes now use a damp beauty blender sponge and use the pointed tip to go around your eyes and make sure you dab it and not rub it around now let me focus on the part that you require a beauty blender because this does give you a nice finish on your face but you can totally use your fingertips as well however using a sponge or a brush i think sponges are more better than brushes because it will not leave lines rather it will push the product on your face and that is the full kind of coverage you require generally you can go ahead and invest on this and it's going to work for a long time until unless you keep it clean this is very minimal coverage as you see it did cover a little bit of the darkness and it does look similar to what my skin tone is because we are going to use colors on the eyelids i'm going to use a lighter shade concealer on top of my eyes first here i'm using the color bar flawless full cover concealer in the shade 003 satin i'm going to apply this concealer very generously almost just around your eyes use the same beauty sponge and dab this around your eyes so as to give a natural finish now for the colors, I'm using a very common color base which everyone would use. Here I'm using two different eyeshadow palettes. 
I'm going to use a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Pick up this particular shadow from the palette. I'm going to start applying this only on the outer corners of my eyes to give it nice smoky eye look. I'm going to go ahead and take the same brush and pick up this lighter shade here. Apply this on the inner corners of the eye. You need to blend in the shadow so very well that it does not look cranky. Even though I'm showing you this in a time lapse or I might be cutting off a lot of uh, scenes here and there, it might look like a very small process but actually I'm taking a lot of time. No matter how good the palette is and how pigmented the colors are, it might take a long time for you to blend in all these colors and to make them look perfect. I actually decided now to go ahead and push this even further so that it has a longer looking eye. Now if you need a very precise cut like I did in my blue glitter video, you can use a tape over here which will give Give you a precise cut over here and that looks very very put together and sleek but if you like looking it very casual and normal you can go ahead and do it with your bare hands now i'm going to use a flat brush i'm going to first go ahead and pick up this lighter shade over here and do the inner corners of the eyes and Use this darker shade to finish off the outer corners of the eye. I'm going to pick up this particular shade again on this brush, which is a flatter brush. And I'm going to use it to blend both the shadows on the upper and the lower lash line. I think I'm going to do my eyebrows because I feel like they look so weird. I don't want to have that feeling. So I'm going to do the eyebrows first because it's annoying that my eyebrows look white and weird. I'm going to just wipe off any uh, makeup products which are already there on the eyebrows and start off with the eyebrows first. I'm going to use the Miss Claire waterproof eyebrow pencil. I'll do this off camera and come back to you right away. Let's continue with the eye makeup. The next thing I'm going to use is a shimmer shade. I'm, I'm using this Makeup for Revolution London palette. And the shade I'm going to use is the 26th shade and it's called the Sunset R. I'm going to use my fingertip, pick up a nice amount, apply it only mostly on the inner corners of the eyes. I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner. I'm using the Lacme Insta Eyeliner. And I will be drawing a very thin line on the upper eyelash. And I am also going to use the tip of the eyeliner to draw a nice long wing. Let's wait for the eyeliner to dry off a little bit. In the meanwhile, we'll do the lower lash line. For that, I'm taking a cold kajal. Here, I'm using the Colossal Kajal Super Black. I'm going to go ahead and use this particular brush, which came with the Makeup Revolution palette. I'm going to use this particular flat side. I'm going to pick up this black shadow from this palette. I'm going to do the lower lash line first. I am buffing out the lower lash line kajal, which I've already applied, just to give a smoky eye effect. Now that is done, I'm going to use the same side of the same brush, pick up the black shadow again and apply it on the outer corners of the black kajal I've applied so as to give a smoky eye effect again. Now let's get continuing with the face makeup. Uh, before we do that, uh, I'm going to use a makeup wipe and wipe off this particular part. The colors are pigmented but they aren't falling down so I guess they are good. However, I am going to wipe out a little bit over here so that I don't have anything messing around. I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind Concealer first. Do not forget you've already done your eyes and your eyebrows so make sure your products are far away from them. Using a beauty sponge, I'm going to go ahead and dab this around. Let me tell you, it does take a long time to blend the foundation or the concealer on your face. So take your sweet time and blend this in. I cut and edit the video in such a way that it passes out very soon. It's a time lapse which you guys see and most of the parts are cut off. So you will not be able to see how much time I really took to blend in the foundation and the concealer, but you need to give as much time as required for it to look seamless and pretty on your face. Now I'm going to use the foundation. Like I mentioned, we are going heavy on the foundation and concealer because we want as flawless skin as possible, especially for an engagement or a wedding. I'm gonna use the Revlon Nearly Naked Makeup Foundation in the shade 190 True Beige.
There is also a small tip I would like to give anyone who is looking for a makeup on engagement or wedding or something very heavy. Make sure you invest on a foundation which is not going to oxidize on you and make you look very white. Because as far as I know, uh, whenever I use this when, I, when I'm in Bangalore, it is fine even if I go out because the weather is not that humid and not, not very crazy. This doesn't oxidize on me, it is perfectly fine. But there is a time when I actually used it in Kerala and oh my god, I look like a white scary angel. I think it depends on the weather and on how much humidity you are surrounded with. I think it is very important that you keep that in mind. Next thing I'm going to do is use a concealer again. Now this one is from Colorbar Flawless Full Cover Concealer. I'm going to use this to highlight my face. Mostly I'm going to use this on the T-zone and under my eyes so that it is highlighted. The key point again to blend this in is to use a sponge and make sure it's so nicely blended that it doesn't look chalky or doesn't look different than what you have on your face. Now that is done. This was so much of blending, you guys. Do it. Do not forget blending everything in so that it looks perfect and don't have to look messy. Sit down. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is highlight on my face before I powder the eye area. You can already see how it is the shiniest part of my face. I don't know why. This part of my face is really, really shiny. So... I am going to powder it down, but before that, I'm going to use the Maybelline New York V Face Duo Stick. This has a highlighter on one end and contour stick on the other. So the areas where you are going to highlight are the T zone and the cheekbones. Now I'm going to use a powder to set my under eye area. The best kind of powder to use will be a translucent powder, but I do not have a translucent powder. Thus, I'm going to use the Lacme 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Powder Foundation. I'm going to use my fingertip, pick up the product and just pat it here. The reason I'm doing this is because if I am to use a brush, it's not going to give this particular effect. You see how much of a difference that makes? I don't have that under eye shiny problem anymore. Now I'm going to use this brush and pick up a little bit of the product, tap off the excess and just go over my face. The next thing we are going to do is blush. It makes you look so much younger and cuter and let me stop giving you adjectives and let's just get over with it. So I'm going to take off a nice amount, start focusing on the apples of my cheek and go in the outward direction. one more very important part of your face that is your lips here i'm using two different colors chamber extreme matte long wear lip color in the shade 16 desired red and the lighter shade i'm going to use is revlon color burst lipstick in the shade rosy nude this is how it looks it's like a nice pinky pinky nude You know what I think? I think this particular eye look requires a little more of a brownie lipstick than a reddish pink. Forgive me, but I'm going to use a brown on top of this just to make it a little darker. I kind of don't like this pink on this eye look for some reason. I'm going to use the Color Bar Lip Stain in the shade 19, Pricey Affair. Next, I will curl my lashes and also put in a falsie and I'll be right back to you. That is the final look. Eyelash glue I have used is the Miss Claire Eyelash Glue. It's a clear glue. Especially if you're a beginner, this is your best bet. That completes the look. I added in a shawl. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and Kareem, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please let me know in the comments and also share it with your girlfriend. Ask her to subscribe to my channel, please. <laughs> and share it with your friends if you guys really think that I did do a decent job. Now let me tell you, I am again rephrasing what I said in the very beginning of the video. I am no makeup artist. So if this is not perfect, please excuse my flaws. My hair is a little messy. Please ignore that. I just put up this whole look so that it looks like a grand something something. I don't have that many clothes out here with me. So yeah, I look very normal. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification button so that the next time I post a video, you don't miss it out. Until next time. Bye.
Mano, no, no, no. Ah, escuta, escuta. Because we are going to use colors on our 